Hello lovelies, Carla Nicole. So, um, I guess I'll just tell you um, what inspired this live this morning. Um, two things actually, but I guess I'll start with um, how we can undermine what we say to ourselves that causes us to um, experience less or more in our lives. So I want to welcome everybody. I'm Carla Nicole. I'm a single mother of, of two. And um, when I get spiritually um, excited or spiritually in, in inspired to do something, I just go and do it. So anyway, I wanted to talk to you guys this morning about what we say to ourselves. So let's think about this for a second because a lot of people say things about what they... Um, what they say um, to themselves. So, first of all, I want to just talk about really quick, how do we um, think about our single life? Good morning, Divine. How do we think about our single life? You know, um, I'm not talking about those that are single and single extremist. Now, being single but you have someone that you spend quality time with, you have a, a significant person in your life, um, you have a bae, a boo, whatever, or you're married or you not married, but you have somebody that you spend time with of the opposite sex that you consider important in your life. I'm not talking to y'all today. That's not y'all. Y'all got y'all got the single thing down. So that's not who I'm talking to today. <laughs> I'm talking to, to the, the single extremists, the ones that are single and they tell themselves, I'm single because I'm set in my ways. Okay, so let's get into what set in our ways mean. The reason why I'm inspired by this is because there's a lady that I happen to, you know, have a friendship with. She's, uh, she's older, so she's in her 50s. I would say mid-50s, maybe 56, 57. And just let me tell you, she's a, a beautiful, attractive woman. She has the beautiful home. She's got nice vehicles. She's got her own entrepreneur business. So she does, you know, her little um, massage <clears throat> business on the side. <coughs> Excuse me. And she's got it going on. Okay. She's retired. So she doesn't have anything um, like a job that is an obligation in her life. So... I, I, you know, her and I had a, a powwow one day and she said something to me and it stuck with me. So this is what inspired this, this live today. She says something like this. She says, you know, I'm talking to my, to my male friends and I'm asking them, why doesn't anybody want to be with me? I mean, I'm a single woman, a single lady in one breath. Okay. Then she says to me in another breath, which is, you know what I'm not going to do is if I have a man, he's going to have to understand that every Christmas I am with my ex-husband and we have a big, huge um, get together and we make breakfast for our kids and we have all this awesome sit set up there and we cook and we have, a, you know, an overnight stay and we're doing this and we're doing that. And she says, and it's awesome. She says, and I refuse to give that up. I said, oh, really? She says, yeah. She says, I won't. I will not give that up. I said, okay. I didn't say anything to her at the time, but I, but listen to what she said. She said, I don't understand why I can't get a man. You know what I mean? I, I don't understand why I can't be in a relationship because I have everything I need. I have everything I want. And then in the next breath, she says, but I'll be damned if I give up my ex-husband and my uh, Christmas event we have every year because I'm not going to give that up. And I'm looking at her like, okay, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why I thought this is important that we see what I mean by single extremist. It is fine to be single. It is a beautiful thing. But we can get into a point where we are single and we become extreme in our single life. What she said was she wants a man, but then she turned around and said, but she'll be damned if her man doesn't understand she's got an ex-husband and this setup that she has going on. And I'm like, listen. If you are single and you end up having an, a, a, an intimate partner for over the years, that ex-husband event that you got going on is going to eventually start to fade. Why? Because that ex-husband is no longer significant. His significance that she's placing in her life as far as what she demands that her new man has to accept is unacceptable. 
Just that simple. Because she's going to now hinder his needs. And he's supposed to be significant, but you got your ex-husband in the place of the significance. You can't do that and then want a man to be in your life. She doesn't get it at the time. And I, I'm, I'm going to have a powwow with her, you know, when she's open to listen. Because a lot of times I have something that I have drum up in my spirit that the spirit will be like, hey, you need to talk to them. And I'll be like, hold it up, though. I know you want me to talk to them, but if they're not willing to receive it, that's not my point. I'm telling you to talk to them. So I got the message I need to holler at her about her thinking. But let me talk about set in our ways. Do we not say that? Well, you know, I, I'm kind of set in my ways at this point. I have a certain routine. I have a certain standard. I have a certain thing I do every day. Okay. But do you know what we're not thinking about? Which is, what does it take for concrete to be set? To become stone? Time, right? But it doesn't take a long time, does it? It doesn't take a long time to get set, does it? I want you to look at something. This is concrete. <laughs> <laughs> see this this is concrete i'm set in my ways i'm set i'm not i'll be damned if i let a man come in here and do this and change my routine i'll be damned if i let a man do this that's what you're creating you're creating this stone you see what i'm saying we get to a point when we have our mind set like this you're not going to break through that when we get single too long, or when we get set like this, like concrete, we're not willing to compromise. And when we're not willing to compromise, what do we have? Our damn self. And then we're questioning other people, why are we alone? You have to understand, if you are an extremist being single, I don't want no man to tell me what I need to do. I'm going to do it my way. You can do it your way, but you're going to do it by yourself. Because we have a tendency to get caught up in our thinking that we don't have to be open to change. And if we're not going to open up to change, we're going to end up alone. There's things that we have to look at, which is ourselves, us, in here. What are we thinking? Our mindset. You know what I thought about the other day when I saw a video that talked about if the human race becomes extinct... In an instant, in, in an instant, just like how the dinosaurs became extinct. Do you know that the world will change within hours? But what, what won't change and will will and what will will stand the test of time is this: the stone. <laughs> this will last way past our extinction. Okay, you hear me? So we got to let this go. When we, when we say stuff to ourselves like, I, I am set in my ways, we are setting up ourselves to be alone. So we have to allow ourselves to be open to change. That means that, yes, you have a certain routine in your life right now because it's just you. Okay, I get that. You have certain standards that you have to fill in the blanks of the person that's not here. I understand that. But when are you going to put an expiration date on that damn single time? That single life. How long are you going to parade around here that it's great to be single, but you're miserable to be on the real? When you sit down, when I pull these single people out and say, really, are you that excited about single them? Or do you really love the single life? Or is it that you love that you don't have somebody because you believe you're better than somebody that has somebody? We got to think about this stuff, man. We get so caught up in parading around and, and excited and getting proud that we're something. Do you know proud means that we are superior? We're not. We are just single because we are. And in being single, we have to do what we have to do. But when you are open and you start to crack away this concrete thinking and you start to look at, well, maybe I need to soften my edge. See, we ladies like to talk about, well, I put my wall up. Yeah, you put a wall up, not of brick, not of linen, not of silk. You put a wall, a stone up, and then want a man to be here, to, to show up and be in your life. But he can't get past the stone. He can't get through this. How's a man supposed to get through this? He can't. And it, it, even energy, it can go through the stone, yes. 
But how's he going to reach you? How, how are you going to know he's trying to reach you through the stone? Trying to help y'all, man. We got to see past all this. And then you're stone-like. Your, 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 your whole being is stone-like. So you're stiff. And you're stone. You don't want to be sexual. You don't want to be, I don't want to be sexy. I don't want to put on any makeup and fix up. I just want to walk around in a humdrum. And then you wonder why a man isn't, isn't approaching you. Are you not showing up to life and showing up and fixing up to life? You're not even got your sexy on. How's a man going to be drawn to that? You're sitting up there stiff. No man wants a woman as stiff and hard as stone like this. How is a man supposed to rub on that? But you, you're set in your ways, though. But you, you this. How's a man supposed to rub on a stone-like woman? Men like soft women. Men love to be touched by a soft woman. A man cannot get through this. They can't. They can't get through this. Look. She's hard. She's stone. I'm trying to help y'all, ladies. Man, come on. I don't want to have sex. I'm going to be abstinent for the rest of my life. Really? <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> Come on, ladies, get it together. You can't expect to have a relationship. Just like she asked me, well, ask her male friend. Well, why aren't I getting a relationship? How are you going to get a relationship when you got your man out here as your ex-husband? And then you expect a new man to show up and be okay with your ex-husband being in his spot. That's not going to work. <laughs> I don't care what you do. That's not going to work. We got to get away from the stone, man. I'm not talking to y'all singles that have somebody that's significant. I'm not talking to y'all. Y'all got it together, okay? Y'all do y'all thing. I'm talking to the people that are stuck in their stone-like thinking. Stuck in their set ways. How many times do you... How, how long is it going to take you to be set in your ways to get to the point where you're like, maybe me being set in my ways is not working. Maybe I need to change some things. Ladies, look at yourself in the mirror. Real talk. Look at yourself in the mirror. What do you see? Do you see a, a man wanting to be attracted to you? Or are you got or do you got this bitter bitter face every time you go to the to the store? Are you looking bitter and mad, and pissed off? No man wants to approach you like that. They don't. They don't even want to press up on you when you don't want to have them. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to touch me. I don't want you to be around me. Really? But y'all say y'all want a man, though. <laughs> but y'all don't want to have sex. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't go together, ladies. Please understand that. If you want to sit up here and act holier than thou and think that there's no sexual activity going on in relationships, you will be sadly mistaken. Men want to be intimate with the woman they're with. Significant is, in, 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 if she's a significant woman in his life, he wants to be intimate with you. But you don't want to have sex. I'm going to parade around and be celibate for life. Okay, but you won't have a relationship. Just that simple. We got to break through the stone. This. This stone. Stone-like. Accept that as what it is. But understand, it will not change. You want to have something that is beautiful? You want to have a relationship? You want to be open to, to change? then you got to get rid of this. And that means it's going to take work. It's going to take work to change this mindset because this mindset is so stone-like. It's hard to break through it. It can be done, but you got it's going to take work, inner work for this to be changed. We got to see past what we're looking at here. She's looking at, she has a beautiful home, a beautiful woman, you know, she's got something to offer somebody, but she's not eligible at all for a man to want to be with her at all. I don't care what she possesses as far as physical things. It's not going to work because she's got this concrete thinking that, sh that she's set in her ways. And I'm not going to do this. And I will not do that. Okay, that's fine. You continue on that road. But understand, you're not going to have a man. You're not going to have someone significant. You're not going to have a man that really wants to spend time with you because he does not want to rub and lay upon a woman that is of stone. <laughs> He's not. He wants the softness. He wants the caring. He wants the, the um, engagement. We don't want to engage with men. We want to tell them what we want to tell them, and then we want to expect them to be what we want them to be. 
That's not going to work either. Did y'all hear me? I said stone will live after our existence is extinct. That's a long time. Think about it. If that is the case, then even in our mindset, would it actually sit down and die even after we do? No. So even if we decide to be celibate for life and die, that is going to die? No, it's not. You will, but that concrete thinking is going to remain what it is. It doesn't change. All the gentlemen that could be trying to get at you won't because they can't get past the stone, man. They can't get past this. And I'm going to pick on, on the guys too. Y'all gentlemen out here, that's, woe is me. I'm single. I ain't got no woman. Okay, I get that part. I understand that. But gentlemen, you don't want to let a lady come in and, and help you. You're too busy and hung up on, I ain't got that to do. I ain't going to be going and buying no woman no stuff. I, ain't, I don't want to have to deal with no woman's opinions and all this and that. But you want to have sex and you want to be with a woman. It doesn't make sense. You're going to have to compromise something. As long as you stay in the mindset that your mindset is going to remain that. You're going to be miserable. Gentlemen, I want y'all to, I'm going to pick on y'all now for a minute. You can't sit up in here and be so headstrong that you won't let a woman come in and basically help you to build. Some of y'all brothers out here. Uh, y'all got a hell of a, a vision. Y'all got all this going on, but you won't let nobody help you. You won't. You are so hell bent on doing everything for yourself. You better look at these men, these great men that made it, made it out here, and you better look and see to his left if a woman was standing there or not. Nine times out of ten, great men need a woman. Sorry, gents. I'm sorry to give you the the, the truth, but. He's got a significant woman helping him. I didn't say marrying. I said helping and assisting and helping him build. You know, y'all, y'all, y'all getting y'all's, you know, y'all mindset that, like, hey, you know, I don't want no woman. I don't want no woman to come and take from me. She ain't got to take from you. She don't. But what she can do is help you to balance out. Y'all gentlemen can get so work into work mode. That y'all don't know when to soften y'all selves up either. Because of this. <laughs> Your mindset in concrete. You don't want no woman. Okay? But understand, women balance men. That's what we're, that's what we're here to do. We're here to balance y'all. But y'all don't want that. I'm talking to the gentlemen that don't want to sit back and look at you have everything you need except a woman to help tell you, no, you off. Nope. You're off. I love you, babe, but you're not listening to me. Those men that don't have a significant woman in their life because they don't want to listen. I don't want no woman. I want to stay concrete. I don't need no woman to come in here and tell me what to do. Change all my, my masculine stuff to feminine and having her flowers and stuff. I don't want that here. Okay. All right, mister, you don't want that there. Understand. You're building something. But once your building gets done, then what? You sit here with a beautiful mansion. You got everything right. But you ain't got no wife or woman or beautiful significant woman sitting there and saying, baby, we did it together. You don't have that. So now you just sitting there hard in the morning with no woman to take care of that. Agents, you know what I'm talking about. That morning erection is very, very, very difficult to get through and try to go to work in the morning. But you won't have work because you'll be retired and you'll have everything you need except the woman to have your back. Sometimes y'all gents get to the point where I don't need no woman. I don't want no woman. Y'all gentlemen better stop and start looking at when's my expiration date on this shit because I'm going to need a woman to help me and assist me. Not all women want something from you. They don't. Some women got their own shit. They do. And, and can be there for you wanting nothing from you. But to help you. 
But y'all don't want that because you want to do everything yourself because you think nobody can do it better than you. That's not true. Some women can help inspire some difference of opinion, can give you a different mindset. But if your mindset is this, it's not going to work. Trying to help y'all gents, man. I see y'all working hard. Brow sweaty. You know what I'm saying? You're working every day. You're going to work. You're coming home. You're tired. No hot meal. So you go over to rallies and pick up something to eat. Your clothes are piled up. You ain't got no woman to wash your clothes or nothing. But you, you, you single though. You getting it. You got all the money. It's like, it doesn't make sense, man. Y'all are out here focused so hard on your vision that you don't understand. It's going to take a significant woman in your life to help you balance. Start giving yourselves permission, men, that it's okay to want a woman. It's not unmasculine. It's not, oh, I, not a, it's not that you're less than because you got a woman backing you. That's not true. You got to get out of this thinking, man. We got to see past. And although I might be stepping on toes, it's okay. That's what I'm here to do. I was told to do this spiritually. So I'm told to not just be on women, not to just be on men, but be on both of y'all. Because both of us have a tendency to do the wrong thing. Because we think white, like, like it, it can't be changed. I can't deal with no woman. You, how do you know what you can deal with? How do you know that woman won't inspire a new fire in you and you won't have to work as hard? Never thought about that, now did you? How about a woman may come in and lighten your load though? Yes, Yolanda. Everyone needs a support system. You're right. But we can't, we can't do that if we don't sit down and really look at what it is we have. But a lot of times we spend more time trying to focus on, ah, uh, I don't want to do this. That's going to cost me. Y'all men are so worried about losing y'all's money. <laughs> then to sit back and think about, well, maybe I need some help. It's okay to have help, man. You can do it. You can have help. You don't have to be demanding yourself to only be, uh, I only want to be one way. I'm only going to be one way. Okay, and you're going to be by your damn self. That don't make sense. In our come up. In our rise, men, it's okay to have a woman say, hey, babe, I got you. What you need? Do you know how much easier it'll be for you if you have somebody to back you up, help you with thought process, give you a different perspective? Because y'all men, y'all are very logical. But sometimes y'all don't see the other side, which is, it, which is the beauty of, of, of things. You have to have a woman sometimes to tell you, you off, babe. That's not going to work. You need that. But, but the problem is we're getting so confined to wanting singledom. It is okay. But singledom should only be for a season. It does not have to be for life. So I'm just trying to help y'all. You don't have to be single. And I'm not telling you to go out and get married either. I'm saying get some women that is significant. A woman that's significant in your life. Ladies, stop telling yourself that you don't need a man. That's silly. Get you some man that is significant. But you got to get past the stone. The stone thinking. You got to get rid of that stone walls, ladies. You got up. Gentlemen, you got to stop having this stone thinking that you don't want no woman to come in and flower up everything. Whew. Man, listen. There's a yin and a yang out here. It's not just yin and it's not just yang. It's both. For it to be what? Excelling. Excellent. It's got to take two. I'm so tired of us trying to live in singledom. Yeah, I have my alone series, but my alone series is getting ready to come to an end. And I'm going to empower people that after you do, you do your work on you, now allow yourself time to be open. And get out of the confines of thinking you need no one. Because it's silly. We can do better if we think differently. If we get past the stone, we can do it. Alright?
So I hope this helps somebody. Please share this video. Because it might not be you, but it may be your girls. It may be your friends. It may be somebody out here that is confined to, the, to being in a mindset that's not working for them. It's not going to blossom their life. It's not going to improve their life. It's not going to make their life better staying in the stone. Why do you think they make headstones and stone? <laughs> so it can last forever, right? You don't want this mindset to where it sets your life, to where you're miserable, you're lonely, you don't have nobody, and you're questioning, well, what do I need to do? Why ain't nobody looking over here? We got to do better, man. Share this video. I'm sure it'll help somebody today. All right? <laughs> I love y'all. Understand that. I love y'all. If I didn't love you, I wouldn't tell you the truth. I want us to get past being so extreme on thinking what we're thinking. We can do better if we think better. We can do better if we understand that we need to be in a relationship to, to signify how beautiful life can be. Don't mean you, it doesn't mean you're less than men because you have a woman. You better look at the men that are great and look at who they had on their right. Or on their left. They had a woman backing them. It just is what it is. Okay? And ladies, please stop thinking. You shouldn't be sexing. You shouldn't be doing this. You shouldn't be doing that. You shouldn't be entertaining men. Keep it up. Y'all gonna be lonely. You better start enjoying life. And enjoying a sexual energy. And learning what it does for you and your body. Start going back and looking. And understanding what sex is about. Stop. Oh, I don't want to have sex. That's silly. But then you want a man, though. Come on, man. We got to do better. I love you back, Bookie. So come on. We can do better. Share this video. Somebody's got to hear it. It's Carla Nicole signing off. Best kept. Bye.